Brothers and sisters of the Great White North, Happy Canada Day! It is my great honor to you to be welcoming you to the launch of the Team Canada YouTube channel. You have certainly decided that today is a day for celebration. And what better way to celebrate than by throwing a party. With a whole bunch of characters that have absolutely nothing to do with Canada. But I digress. In any event, we are going to go ahead and, while we're having a party crasher, probably someone from the United States, we're going to go ahead and play our opening game, Mario Party 2. And so, shall we get started? But yes, brothers and sisters of the Great White North, it is my honor to welcome you to my channel. A channel where we are all about things that are Canadian, even when they're not Canadian. I probably am, have you people wondering why I'm not playing a game like Death Road to Canada or something. Well, that's simple because we already know what the Death Road to Canada is. It's called the United States. So, why don't we instead have fun and celebrate the birth of our wonderful nation which occurred 152 years ago on this beautiful day and have some fun by playing some various board games. And so, let's take a journey to a place that has nothing to do with Canada. I know I keep saying this, but it is certainly hilarious that they ha do nothing to honor our beloved country, but we shall instead go and have fun at Pirate Land. Now, because our channel is just starting out, okay. this probably should not come as much of a surprise. We're not going to be able to show off this entire game within the course of a single day. Because YouTube and their infinite wisdom decides that if your channel is just starting out, you can only be limited to 15 minute videos. I don't make these decisions, they do, and they are awful and terrible. So, let's go ahead and play one player with three computers. And since Mario is the only one who is wearing colors that even remotely resemble Canada, we'll choose him. And then we'll go ahead and choose the next three characters on the line just because we want to. And we'll set everyone to normal difficulty. We'll play over the course of 20 turns. And we will implement bonus stars at the end of the game. These settings are okay. So now, let's go celebrate our country in the way that pirates used to back in the day. I mean, let's face it. For Canada to have even become a country in the first place, sailors had to come on ships from across the Atlantic from both the UK and France to get to this place and make it what it is today. So perhaps we should be grateful to them for the fact that they established their wonderful nation. So we've arrived at Pirate Land, our first board. And we gotta take down a bad guy named Bowser, popularly common in Bowser's adventures here in Mario. And we are going second as we ended up all rolling very badly. Yeah, let's proceed to have our order established, and then we get started with 10 coins. Yeah, but we should be nice that the UK and the French people who sailed initially were not there for the purposes of pirating. They were there for the purposes of settling this land. It is important that we show how grateful we are or else we cannot truly understand and recognize how wonderful their gift was to us. So we start by landing on a blue space for three coins. Red spaces, as you may have noticed, take three coins away. There are also green item chest spaces that are all scattered across the board. And when you land on one of these, you can play a little mini game. Also, it's not me controlling the field of play, it is all on the AI for right now. So let's go ahead and see what Mario's perpetual damsel in distress, Princess Peach, is going to obtain for her opening turn. Where is she going and what's she gonna land on? Something really, really bad. What a surprise! Bowser found her. Or in this case, it was the other way around. What a waste of a turn. That's something an American would do. Hey Luigi, my brother, it's nice to see you. And so we start things out with a 2 versus 2 game. What are we gonna end up doing? 
playing a game of Cake Factory. How fitting for Canada Day that we get to celebrate with cake. And so, here we are in this particular board, so we have to find out what's going on here by speaking with our friend Toad. Now if I can just remember the keys for moving... Oops, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. And we don't want to practice either. So, oh yes, right joystick, because I'm playing on a Wii U virtual console. Yeah, I have not upgraded to the Nintendo Switch yet because there are not enough games for me to convince me that this is a worthy console to acquire, but I'm sure that will eventually change at some point. So we're pressing A to grab the ingredient and B to release it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's celebrate Canada Day with cake! Alright, so I'm grabbing the cake and so Luigi's getting a strawberry for me. But I gotta be faster on the draw or else we're gonna be falling, falling really quickly behind. Yeah, we're already not off to a good start here. We need to fix this. Yeah, in fact, Yoshi and Peach are really working out perfectly. Ah! And, oh wow, what a comeback! <laughs> Nicked in the nick of time! Well done to our team. That's Canadian power for ya! Off to turn two, and Yoshi can only roll a one. Not a good start in terms of rolling so far for poor little Yoshi. And we get the max roll of ten. Unfortunately, we have to give five coins to the Koopa Bank. Um, should we be buying an item now? I'll buy a mushroom just in case. Because it takes 20 coins to buy a star in this game. Alright, we're starting uh, right at the very point before the bridge begins. Peach rolls a 9, she'll have to give 5 coins to the Koopa Bank. And so... Ah, as if things weren't getting worse for her. Everything is working out according to plan for Bowser. Yeah, Peach is gonna be completely broke because of Bowser. Yeah. It's like, Bowser, we, we know of his penchant for Princess Peach. And it's unfolding all before our very eyes. And so now, yeah, Luigi is gonna be actually given the option to get a head start here and actually make his way closer to where the star is. So this actually worked out really well for him, and he's poised to get the first star as we move on to a three-on-one game. What are we playing? Archer Rival. Oh, this is not a necessarily a good game. I wonder what American came up with it. So, our responsibility is to try and move around while trying to not get shot by Peach. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm stuck in the middle, this is not good. Yeah, I'm gonna be wedged in between these two, and of course she goes after me first. Yeah, Yoshi and Bowser do what they needed to do, and now Luigi can't move anywhere. So Peach wins in the minimum three shots. Well, that's one way to bounce back. Yeah, she'll fight tooth and nail to get back into the game. And Yoshi rolls the maximum number, has to give up five coins. And now he gets to face Bowser too. Oh, Yoshi. Yeah, I'm feeling bad too, too for you as well. And he has to give up the remaining coins that he has. Yeah, Bowser is having a field day in the early going. Yeah, and in case you haven't heard, Nintendo of America is now run by a guy whose last name is Bowser. Yeah, curse you, America! This is all your fault! Yeah, you are all to blame. This is all your fault. And now we gotta worry about whether or not Peach is gonna send us back. Yeah, if you land on one of those green question marks, anyone who's standing on the bridge has to go back to start because they get blown away by the cannonballs. And this leaves Luigi with a golden opportunity to get the chance to get the first star. 
This is not working out according to plan, but yeah, neither Peach nor Yoshi has any coins. Now we play a 1-3 game called Shock, Drop, or Roll. So our objective here is to stay on the spinning drum as much as possible. And hopefully go the distance. But Yoshi is not going to make this easy for us. And it's going this way! Peach falls off. Ugh. Hold on, hold on! Hold on, hold on! Yeah, th this is merciless. Yeah, especially if you get faked out like that. And Yoshi is one. Well, definitely not the start we were looking for, but we're gonna have to push through. And, well, someone had to get some coins back, and it turned out it was Yoshi. And Yoshi will get a mushroom as well. So everyone has a mushroom now, except for Luigi. Not that he needs one, because he's in prime position to get the first star. Yeah, it's highly unlikely we'll make a comeback in this regard, but we gotta push through. So now, yeah, not surprisingly, Peach decides this is the right time to utilize her mushroom. What I was actually planning on doing was waiting until a more appropriate time to utilize mine, but... Nope, Peach is getting a really good roll here. Yeah, you have no money. And you don't have any money to use in the item shop, either. Yeah, what kind of mushroom kingdom are you living in, Peach? What did America force you to do and to go into debt? And Luigi is forced to go back. Oh, heartbreak for Luigi. The shark helped him out, then it betrayed him. As we play our first four-player game, Dizzy Dancing. Yeah, looks like Jaws, an American creation, decided that he wasn't going to have any of Luigi getting the first star. So now, we played this game called Dizzy Dancing, where all our controls are messed up and we have to try and reach the star, or in this case, the music note that's in the middle of the, of the field of play. So yeah, we get to spin around on an old school vinyl record player, get thrown asunder, and now we gotta make haste to the music note if all possible. Oh, come on, Mario. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, get it. Yes. Yeah. Luigi, you didn't quite make it. Instead, you bounced on both Mario and Peach's heads.